What's going on YouTube, Geosnoid here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your blobs for iOS 15.0, 15.0.1 .1, 15 and 15.0.2. But before that, this video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the photos, music, videos, messages and so on on your device. It's a place where you can manage all the data on your device in one single application and even drag and drop content to your device in order to quickly transfer it to the device. Definitely check it out in the links below. Yes, 15.0 can still be saved because the RC is still signed. Now as you probably know, iOS 15.0.2 was released yesterday with only one change, a patch for the IO mobile frame buffer vulnerability here and of course security researcher Sar Amar already posted a proof of concept in here that we can use for jailbreak purposes. However if you want to save your blobs for downgrade purposes which I definitely recommend if you're into jailbreaking stuff like that you can still save not only 15.0.2 or 15.0.1 you can also save 15.0. So the normal iOS 15.0 is no longer signed as you can see from here on my website iDeviceCentral.com. However iOS 15.0 beta or the final RC release candidate is still available here. Not sure why Apple still signs it, but it's still available and you can still save your blobs. So I would definitely recommend you to do that because it's much better than going to 15.0.2, which patches this vulnerability here that we already got in a full write-up that contains everything we need to know. So how do you save that? Well, at first you need Air Squared's Blob Saver. This one is one of the most advanced tools at the moment and it works with A12, A13 and A14 devices as well. And it even supports the latest devices like the iPhone 13. So at first what you need to do is to get it from here. It's available for both Windows, Mac OS and Linux and as you can see you have the options to download it from here. Once you have it, in my case for Mac, all you need to do is to open it and you're going to see this. Now one of the good things about this tool as I mentioned in my previous videos is the fact that it can read the data directly from the device. You don't have to paste your ACID or to specify your app notes manually. You just press read from device here. It's got my ACID, my device type and my model. And of course if your device was A12, A13 or A14 or anything newer you would specify in here the app notes but you would read it from the device as well. So once you have all this in this configuration and the device plugged in you press go in here and it will save the blobs for you. Now these blobs can be used for downgrade purposes. You will not be able to downgrade or upgrade in the future to an unsigned iOS version if you don't have the blobs. So let me explain for a second how they work. You see when you go ahead in here and you see that the iOS version is signed it means that when your device requests to go back to 15.0.1, for example, the Apple server will return a response containing some keys and stuff like that, that would work for the device to actually accept your firmware. But if it's no longer signed, the Apple server will just return an error. Now what saving blobs does is that it saves that response the Apple server would give to the device if the version is signed. However, the catch is that you can only save those blobs while the version is signed. You can use those blobs later when the iOS version is no longer signed but you do have to save it only when it's signed. So as you can see it says in here success it saved the versions 15.0.2 and 15.0.1 however it did not save the beta the 15.0. To do that you go ahead in here on the beta version and for this you have to specify a URL. How do you find that? Well you go ahead here on the iDeviceCentral.com you press iOS signing status and of course you select your device from the list. In this case it's an iPod so I'm gonna go in here and select the one and then you wait for all these signed versions to appear. You go here on the iOS 15.0 beta, right click on the blue text here, the build number. Now this is going to get the IPSW. If you click on that, you're going to get the IPSW for the beta, but we don't need the IPSW, we just need the link. You paste it in here on the beta version, make sure it's for your device, the one that it's in here, and you press go. This way it will save the blobs for your beta, including 15.0, which is no longer signed at the moment. So as you can see, it says in here, success. Now this is where it saved them, users, geo no blobs so I'm gonna go right there all right so I am in the blobs folder in here let me make this bigger and as you can see we do have 15.0 over there it was saved today it's in here 7 58 a.m. so now if you open it I'm gonna try to open it with Xcode we will be able to see the content of the blob you can see it contains a lot of base 64 encoded stuff but it also contains the generator that you have to set when you downgrade your device with future restore so with this you have basically a ticket to actually downgrade in the future if a jailbreak appears. Without it, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere back. So yeah, that's how you do it. This tool is actually incredible. It was updated recently to support newer devices. It says in here, add new iPhone and iPad models. So that's actually great because it's
Otherwise, you can use it for A12 and A13 as well, and you do not have to be jailbroken to save your blobs. And of course, you do not have to update to the version you're saving. Your device can be on 14.3, but you can still save your 15.0.2 blobs. No problem, no update. You just need a unique device ID from the device, which this tool can actually get by itself by just pressing in here on the read from device. So yeah, that's basically it. Definitely do it right now because I have no idea how long Apple will keep signing that RC because iOS 15.0 is long unsigned. So not sure why they keep that beta, but definitely take advantage of that opportunity and of course, save your blobs. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now and peace out.